everyone. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us in this reflection on Jesus' seven last words. Good Friday is the best time to pray and think about Jesus and his sacrifice for us on the cross. But you can do this even on other days too. As we do this reflection, let's try to stay focused. If you find yourself distracted, just go back to the reflection. Ready? Let's begin with the prayer. You can repeat what I say during the prayer so that you can join in too. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, thank you for your love. Lord, thank you for your love. Thank you for the sacrifice you made on the cross. Thank you for the sacrifice you made on the cross. Thank you for dying for us and saving us from our sins. Thank you for dying for us and saving us from our sins. Be with us now, Lord. Speak to us. Be with us now, Lord. Speak to us. Open our hearts to your love. Open our hearts to your love. Keep us close to you and help us to follow you always. Keep us close to you and help us to follow you always. This we pray through Mama Mary and St. Joseph's intercession. This we pray through Mama Mary and St. Joseph's intercession. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let's begin. The first word. The first word is based on Jesus' words in Luke 23, verse 34. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Jesus is being nailed to the cross. His way of love was not welcomed by those in power, so he decided he needed to die. In those days, criminals were killed when they didn't obey those in power. Jesus was put to death like a criminal. Is there a person in your life who you need to forgive? Someone who hurt your feelings or betrayed you? Ask Jesus for the grace to forgive that person, just as Jesus forgave those who hurt him. Jesus, help us to forgive others as you have forgiven us. Help us to also seek forgiveness when we have done wrong. The second word. The second word is based on Jesus' words in Luke 23, verse 43. Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus on the cross hanging between two criminals. One of them makes fun of him, telling him to save himself and the two criminals too. But the other criminal defends Jesus and asks him to remember him when he enters his kingdom. And Jesus responds with those words, Today you will be with me in paradise. What do you think paradise or heaven looks like? Imagine what it would be like to live there. To enjoy that place with those you love and who love you. Imagine how happy Jesus would be to have you there with him forever. What would you do so that you could enter heaven? Jesus, help us to defend you when others make fun of you and our faith. Help us to live our lives so that we can one day enter heaven. The third word. The third word is based on Jesus' words in John 19, verse 26 to 27. Woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is at the foot of the cross, standing beside John, the disciple whom he loved. She is watching her son die and her heart is breaking. Jesus does not want her to be alone after he dies, and so he entrusts her to John. John represents all of us. Jesus gave Mary to us to be our mother. Think about this for a moment. Who has God given you to love? Who loves you? Give thanks to God for those people today. Thank God too for the gift of Mary as our mother. She loves us and is always there for us. Jesus, help us to love your mother as you loved her. Help us to accept her into our lives so she can guide us and pray for us and bring us closer to you. The fourth word. The fourth word is based on Jesus' words in Matthew 27, verse 46, and Mark 15, verse 34. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus is being mocked by everyone around him. He must feel all alone and be in such great pain. He cries out to his father. 
This is a very dark moment for Jesus. Is there a time when you felt all alone? Is there a time when you felt like people were mocking or making fun of you? Have you ever felt like God had abandoned you? Remember, even in the darkest times, God is always with us. Jesus, help us trust you even during our darkest moments. Help us to have strong faith even when we feel alone. Help us to be brave even when people make fun of us. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. The fifth word. The fifth word is based on Jesus' words in John 19, verse 28. I thirst. Jesus knows that he is about to die. Everything that he had come to do was done. His body is beginning to fail. He feels very thirsty. Jesus thirsts not just for water, but for us to be closer to him. He thirsts for us to love him. Is there anything that you are thirsty for? Something more than just water that you long to have in your life? Maybe you thirst for love or something else? Jesus fills us up so that we will not be thirsty for love or for anything else, because with you we have more than enough. The sixth word. The sixth word is based on Jesus' words in Matthew 27, verse 46, and Mark 15, verse 34. It is finished. The people standing near Jesus as he was dying heard that he was thirsty. So they tried to offer him something to ease his pain and suffering. They offer him some vinegar on a sponge and hold it up to his lips. After he tastes it, he says, it is finished. Jesus has finished the work that God sent him to do on earth. Do you realize why he did all of this? All because he loves us. Jesus, thank you for saving us from our sins. Thank you for finishing the work that you came here to do, all for us. Help us to remember your great sacrifice for all of us. The seventh word. The seventh word is based on Jesus' words in Luke 23, verse 46. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. We have come to the end, and the end has come. Darkness has fallen all over the whole land. Jesus shouts a prayer of surrender to God the Father and breathes his last. Everyone who saw what had happened went home in deep sorrow. Is there anything that you want to give to God? Anything that has brought you sadness or sorrow that you want God to hold? Is there something that feels too big or heavy that you want God to help you with? Jesus, thank you for giving your life so that we might live. Your victory on the cross is our victory too. Please help us to be faithful to you and to follow you all the days of our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We have reached the end of this reflection. But our journey with Jesus continues beyond this time. Let us continue to know, love, and serve Jesus every day. Thank you again for joining us. Please don't forget to follow Faith Watch on YouTube or download the Faith Watch app for more inspirational content. Please know that we are all praying for you and your families. And pray for us too. Till next time, God bless you. Bye. 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 Jesus, Mary, and Joseph love me. Love you. Jesus and Mary and, and Joseph love you. Till next time, God bless you.